Now coming to the next subepidermal blistering disorder, CBDC. CBDC. So the other name of C this CBDC chronic bullous disorder of childhood is linear IgA disease. Linear IgA disease. And once there was an MCQ which asked linear in linear IgA disease, what is the antibody, autoantibody which can be seen? So the answer is IgA. But uh, examiners, I think they have evolved and they are becoming more and more tough. Now they are asking in CBDC, what is the autoantibody which is found? Okay. So with the examiner, we should also become more and more stubborn. So remember, LIGA, the other name is CBDC, chronic bullous disorder of childhood. And as the name itself suggests, the age group in which we are going to see this disease is in the children, in the children. And what are the lesions called? The lesions are very important to remember. So are you able to see here? There is a crown. There is a crown here. So that is the description which is used for these lesions. Okay. Cluster of jewels, crown of jewels, string of pearls. All these are descriptive terms used for the lesions. And why is this description used? Because if you observe carefully, this is the lesion where you are able to see annular lesions, annular lesions, which are surrounded, which are studded by these vesicles, which are studded by these vesicles. And if you look at this lesion and if you look at this pearl, it is looking something like similar thing. That is the reason why the description is cluster of jewels or string of pearls. And where can we see these lesions? Predominantly in the periorifacial areas. Predominantly we are going to see it in the periorifacial areas in CBDC. In CBDC. Okay. Perioral or even perineum, periorbital area. All these periorifacial areas will be having these lesions. And if you perform this histopath and this DIF so in between LABD and BP, what are the differences? So remember in the histopathology in linear IgA disease, the predominant cells are neutrophils. Very, very, very important to remember. Why? Because the treatment can be remembered with the help of this. Treatment in the conditions where neutrophils are present is going to be with Dapsone. Dapsone is a drug of choice here because Neutrophils are the predominant cells present in this condition. Okay. And if you look at the DIF, DIF is going to be linear in both of them. But what is the difference? This is linear IgA. This is IgA. And here it is going to be IgG. In bullous pemphigoid, it is going to be IgG. Okay. That is the difference. And you can clearly see here, this is the child who was, a picture was taken before initiation of Dapsone. And you can see after initiation of Dapsone, the lesions have completely healed. Okay, so that is the treatment and this was also a question which was asked neutrophils. Okay, very, very important for you to remember.